All right, so I got a message on Facebook Marketplace from somebody who I bought a bunch of stuff from before and I was happy with my purchase. And I said, hey, if you ever have any more stuff, shoot me a message and we can work something out. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. So she sent me a message, said she had a big bag of stuff and I asked her how much and she said 20 bucks. So I have no idea what's in here. Um, it did come with this, which is huge. So um, I'm gonna have to do some research, but we're just gonna go through this humongous bag. Okay guys, baby shark was playing. So I'm gonna have to do a voiceover, unfortunately. But before I unbag this entire bag, I am gonna show you some buddy mail that I got. All right, you guys, this came from Nikki Love Snacks, and I'm gonna pop her channel up right here. And I opened it so I could record with one hand. So we are gonna unbox the buddy mail. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. We may have to pause. All right, this is what I was expecting. Hold on a second, let me get it undone here. All right, are you guys ready for some cuteness? Oh my goodness. It is so cute. It's a little stapler, you guys. All right, I think there's something else in here. Um, well, you know what, give me a minute, I am gonna get it out of the bubble wrap. All right, are you guys ready for some more cuteness? Look at this! It is so cute! And it fits, it's a little owl, on top of the candle holder. How cute is that? I just wanna say thank you so much, Nikki Love Snacks. You guys, if you're not subscribed to her on YouTube, please go and give her a sub. And we've got my little my little owls. Alrighty, so we have this baby doll, which I donated. Uh, donated this as well. I have not listed anything yet, but by the time I post this video, I hope to have everything listed and some screenshots popped up. Um, sleeping bag, not sure about this yet. Gotta look at the condition and all of that good stuff. So, if you see a screenshot, it is listed. If not, it's not. <laughs> it's super cool. It's a Dalmatian dog sleeping bag, plush. Okay, so this is a costume. Uh, I believe it's The Descendants. I'm definitely gonna list that. I have not looked up comps yet. This here I ended up donating because it is incomplete. It's supposed to have a bed inside of it. Um, but because that bed was missing, I, and it's really heavy, I decided to just donate. Now, it does come with a little doll, which you will see. And I am going to list that, I do believe. So a plush, I think that was a Kohl's Care. I will probably list that. It'll be a bread and butter. Here's the doll that goes inside of that. It's called Na 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 or something like that. I don't know. Never heard of it. Barbie backpack. Some of this stuff I'm kind of on the fence on. I haven't decided if I'm going to list it or not. Um, I will list this horse. Um, it's a Pegasus. There's also a unicorn in the bag. So I'll probably list them together. I don't know. I'll comp them out. I can't remember right now what the brand was. It wasn't anything, um, it wasn't Schley or it was another brand. Um, okay, so this is the uh, bodysuit that goes with that skirt. So that's a set. I think these are called Dorables, D-O-R, or I'm sorry, D-O-O-R-A-B-L-E-S. Um, I will list this. This is from the movie uh, Frozen. So it's got, it looks like Elsa and Anna there, but that third character I don't think goes with this set. This is one of those, um, you use like a screwdriver and take the car apart and put it back together. Comps weren't great on that, so I don't know what I'll do with that. 
uh, the little monkey was like a fingerlings. Now there's a bunch of these uh, trains. They are Tommy brand, T-O-M-Y. And there's a track and everything. So I haven't decided if I'm going to part out the trains or list it as a lot. That was a baby alive, but she didn't have any clothes or anything like that. So not sure how she'll comp out. A lot of the items in this bag are going to be bread and butter. This is troll hair, but it had like some gunk on it. So uh, it just needs washed, but I'm not going to mess with it. This should sell. It's PJ Masks. That's Owlette and her vehicle. Oh, I can't remember what those are called. I've sold them before. Maybe they're Shopkins or Strawberry Shortcake. I don't know. These feel like Squishmallows, but they're not. And the tag was cut off. Okay, so this is a Peppa the Pig carry case. And it's got some Peppa the Pig characters, but there were also some miscellaneous down in the bag. So I can definitely list that. This is a Peppa the Pig backpack. If you flip it over, it's got a little plush head. I'll probably list that. I think that was a strawberry shortcake. I didn't realize how fast I was moving here. <laughs> okay, I don't know who that guy is. Do you guys know who that was? This I just donated. So there's a witch costume. I'm guessing it was like a Halloween costume or something. It does have the dress in the hat. I am going to look that up. This little guy, the tush tag was cut off, but I was able to look it up. I cannot remember the brand right now, but I will pop up a screenshot. The Buzz Lightyear was a McDonald's toy. It was vintage though. Okay, here's the dress. And it seemed to be in nice condition. It's got the hoop around the bottom to keep it so it flares out. Spooked, I think is the... I'm going to try and list that little guy. I don't know if it was a TY or what. Tie. TY or TY. I always mix that up. This was not in great condition, so I went ahead and donated it. It wasn't awful. It just wasn't um, good enough to sell for enough to a warrant listing. That little puzzles, everything was there, so I'm going to look that up. I forget what these are called. Just a, I think they're one of those surprise things that you open it up and you're surprised at what you get. There's a lot of that going on. Um, and actually some of them will sell even if they're already unboxed this little taz guy he's vintage he's the space jam taz plush so lots of smalls but you know nothing crazy wonderful in here but for twenty dollars um, i'm gonna do okay the doc mcstuffins um play set at the very beginning i am gonna part it out it is missing pieces so I can make a little bit of money by parting it out and hopefully somebody that has broken a piece of their set will be able to find um, a replacement in my store for their uh, play set. Those I think are called Bloom Dolls. All right, you guys. Um, I've got everything out of the bottom of the bag. I thought we would talk about this a little bit more in depth. Um, I think I'm going to list these trains individually. The problem is, is like they're all fronts. You know what I mean? And maybe that's how they're made, but they all look like they should be leading the train. Um, the brand on these is uh, Tommy brand. So I'm going to look these up individually. I not sure how much I can get. I do have the instructions for this, but I don't think I have it put together correctly. Um, I, I got to figure out where this piece goes. So I just have it set up like this. So I got to look into this a little more and decide um, if I'm going to sell that with like one of the trains or what I'm going to do there. So I'll pop up a listing. Um, you guys saw some of these items. This one I showed you when I was outside. This is a, um, oh, a little live pet, um, for real, I'm sorry, for real, not little live, and it actually, so that's what it does. This little guy decided I'm probably going to list him, he'll probably be a little bread and butter, oh my gosh, it's still going off. Um, I did look up comps on him. They weren't that great, so I'll show you that here. Here are the two horses that I had talked about earlier. 
that I'm probably going to list together. Haven't completely decided yet. You'll see screen shares. I don't know if these will fit like just any 18 inch doll. Uh, I could, I tried Google Lens and nothing was coming up. So I don't know what to do with those. Here's the little doll that came from that case. This I think is a Shopkins. This I think is a strawberry shortcake. Okay, down in the bottom of the bag. You guys know I love smalls. Um, I do have to look up some of these things. I don't know what this is from, but it, um, and that, these are the Bloom dolls. There's three of them, and I'll probably list those together. This is an LOL doll, and this is LOL. I have a bunch of LOLs. I kind of just pick them up whenever I'm at sales and stuff, so I may lot those. I've sold these before. The older ones do better. Um, these are 2013. This goes to one of those fish. The I think it's for real live pet or the other one I had said earlier. This is a magnet that pulls the fish around so it follows it. So I am going to sell this as a replacement part. I don't know what this goes to. Here's one of the fingerling monkeys. Um... This, I actually looked up comps, and it had okay comps. Um, it's Animal Adventure. So this was down in there. I don't think I showed you guys this. It's still um, sealed. This guy was the Coles Care, I do believe. Yeah. And this one, I think, is called um, Rescue. Oh, I forget. But I'll show you. Um, the little backpack, I told you it was actually had a plush pig on it. So that's cool. This is Fancy Nancy and it's not a super popular cartoon. I don't think cause I don't see a lot of it. Um, so I'm going to try and list this. Maybe somebody will be looking for it. This is a squishy, is that Peppa the pig? Yuck. Look how stuff sticks to it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a bottle. Okay, here's another thing I can teach you. Um, there was a game, it was called Ella Fun, and I don't think it was complete. It only had two of the nets, and it didn't have all of the butter, they're called butterflies, I think. I can sell the butterflies separate, I can sell the um, actual nets separate, but I also pulled off the trunk that I'm gonna try to sell separate. So, um, I got this Barbie here. She's naked. I might just throw her with some other Barbies. I thought I might keep this to display Barbie clothes on. It's kind of a good idea, right? Don't know what this goes with. It's a mermaid tail. This will be a replacement part along with this. And then this is definitely a winner. So, and then the puzzle. Haven't decided about this backpack, if I'm gonna mess with it or not. I might just do something cheap on that. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. This is a replacement pet for the stuffed animals that have the babies. I'll have to see if I can get its face clean, but this one actually has a, a voice thing. It doesn't really sound like a doll, but. And then here was the, the little, uh, I don't know. I wonder if that's her bottle. Doesn't really fit. Could be. Just says made in China. Okay, guys. So the playset at the beginning, let's talk about that. I decided to part it out. And right over here, I am going to pop up what is sold. I think, I don't know how many things, I think three or four have sold. And then the rest of the listings. And I'm going to stop pointing just in case <laughs> um, there weren't that many listings. But anyway, it has been a good thing. I'm pretty excited about it. So if you see these, you can part them out and make money if they are incomplete. So let me know what you think in the comments about parting out this Doc McStuffins item. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.